Hello viewers, this is Mahmood. In this video, we are going to learn linear mapping. So, let V and W be two vector spaces over the same field F. Then a mapping T from vector space V to vector space W is called a linear mapping if it satisfies the following two properties. The first property is additivity which means that if we take two vectors from the vector space V and apply a mapping T on their sum, that is T of U plus V. And this can be written as T of U plus T of V. This property must hold for all vectors in vector space V. And the second property is homogeneity. In this property, we take one scalar from the field F and one vector from the vector space V. Then T of alpha V equals to alpha time T of V. So if any mapping, that is T, from one vector space to another vector space and satisfying these two properties, then we called that mapping is a linear mapping, right? So, linear mapping is also called linear transformation or vector space homomorphism. So, another concept which is about uh, vector space isomorphism. So, a linear mapping T from vector space V to vector space W is called an isomorphism if it is one to one and on to, that is, if it is bijective mapping right in other words we can say that uh, a mapping t which is from vector space v to vector space w is called vector space isomorphism if the mapping is linear mapping as well as a bijective mapping right so next note let uh, t uh, is a linear transformation from vector space V to vector space W then by the homogeneity property we can write T of alpha V equals to alpha time T of V for all alpha belongs to the field and V belongs to the vector space V so if uh, we substitute alpha equals to 0 then the above equation can be written as T of 0 times V equals to 0 times T of V, right? So, by simplification, we get T of 0 equals to 0. It means that every linear transformation assigns the 0 vector into the 0 vector. Example. Show that the mapping T from R cube to R cube defined by T of X comma Y comma Z equals to 0 comma Y comma Z is linear. Here the mapping T is from R cube to R cube and we know that R cube is a vector space over the field R, right? So <clears throat> the mapping T is from vector space R cube to itself and defined by t of x comma y comma z equals to 0 comma y comma z it means that if we take one vector from r cube and then the mapping t transform that vector into 0 comma y comma z vector right and we are going to show that this mapping t is linear mapping so for linearity <coughs> we are going to check the two conditions that are the additivity property and the homogeneity property right so for the additivity uh, we are going to take two vectors from our cube and let uh, they are u and v u is a vector from our cube having the components a1 b1 c1 similarly v is a vector from our cube and having the components a2 b2 and c2 now <clears throat> the additive by the additivity property we have t of u plus v is equal to t of the vector u uh, components plus the 
components of vector v now by the addition of two vectors we have t of a1 plus a2 comma b1 plus b2 and comma c1 plus c2 now apply the transformation yeah or by definition of t so we have 0 comma b1 plus b2 comma c1 plus c2 right again by the addition of two vectors we can write it as 0 comma b1 comma c1 plus 0 comma b2 comma c2 again by definition of t we can write it as t of a1 comma b1 comma c1 plus t of a2 comma b2 comma c2 and then we have t of u plus t of v because a1 b1 and c1 are the components of u and similarly a2 comma b2 comma c2 is basically the vector v right so we have t of u plus v is equals to t of u plus t of v so clearly the additivity property is satisfied now we are going to check the homogeneity property so for homogeneity uh, we take uh, one scalar from the field and one vector from r cube so let for any alpha belong to f we have t of alpha u equals to t of alpha and u can be written as a comma a1 comma b1 comma c1 now by the scalar multiplication of uh, uh, of a vector so we have t of alpha a1 comma alpha b1 comma alpha c1 now by definition of t it gives us 0 comma alpha b1 comma alpha c1 now again uh, the first component 0 can be written as alpha times 0 and again by the scalar multiplication of a vector we have alpha into 0 comma b1 comma c1 again by definition of t we have alpha into t of a1 comma b1 comma c1 and now alpha into t of u so it follows that t of alpha u is equal to alpha time t of u so clearly the homogeneity property is also satisfied so both the conditions are clearly hold so hence the mapping t from vector space r cube to itself defined by t of x comma y comma z equals to 0 comma y comma z is a linear mapping right this is another example uh, try it yourself also this is the third example and here the mapping t is not linear thank you